Welcome to Pharmacology, Biology and Medicine videos. Please like, subscribe and share. Hello friends, the first lecture of Pharmacology. In this first lecture we will study about some important scientists and their contribution in the world of Pharmacology. The first scientist is Oswald Schmidberg, who is also known as the father of pharmacology. The second is Mr. Ramna Chopra. He is known as father of Indian pharmacology. Sir James Black is father of modern pharmacology. There was a scientist named as Clark. He gave a theory of drug action based on occupation of receptor by specific drug. The next scientist is Otto Loewy. He gave a direct proof of transmission across nerve junctions to be mediated by neurotransmitter. That is, in this Otto Loewy concept, he is saying that, let's assume there are two nerves, nerve 1 and nerve 2. The signal between them goes in the form of neurotransmitter. Previously it was considered to be electrical. So previously it was considered to be electrical. What Otto Louis did, he profused two frog hertz in series. That is frog 1 heart and frog to heart. He placed them in series. So what he did, he did stimulation of the first heart nerve. He stimulated the vagus nerve of first heart. Now after the stimulation of the vagus nerve of first heart, what happened as the frog second heart or the second frog's heart is placed in series, it got arrested it got arrested due to stimulation of first frog's heart. Then he concluded that there must be some chemical transmission to happen there. So, and this this whole phenomena is known as vagus top, and the chemical which from which this uh, this second herd of or the second frog's herd got arrested. He proposed that that chemical or that neurotransmitter was acetylcholine. We will basically study this all this in the further chapters and this acetylcholine thing will we will study in cholinergic system in further lectures. Now the next scientist is Alquist. Alquist classified adrenergic receptors into alpha and beta types like like we will study about cholinergic system we will also study in further lectures on adrenergic system and we will study there that what is adrenergic receptors and how they were classified the next scientists were are Bergstrom, Samuelson and Wayne they won Nobel Prize for work on prostaglandins and leukotrienes now I would like to explain you 
what are actually prostaglandins and leukotrienes and how they are generated. What happens? Our cell membrane is consists of bilayer of phospholipid and proteins are embedded in it so what is present here phospholipid is present <coughs> whenever any injury occurs to this membrane phospholipid comes out and here one enzyme is present which is known as phospholipase A2 enzyme phospholipase A2 enzyme which will convert this phospholipid into arachidonic acid and in presence of cyclooxygenase enzyme cyclooxygenase enzyme this arachidonic acid will produce prostaglandins and in presence of LOX enzyme which is known as lipooxygenase enzyme this arachidonic acid will produce leukotrienes so this is how the prostaglandins and leukotrienes are generated and Bergstrom, Samuelson and Wayne won the Nobel Prize for their work on prostaglandins and leukotrienes then there was very important discovery which is the discovery of insulin which was in 1921 and this discovery was by or the insulin was discovered by painting in the test so there were two scientists who discovered insulin in 1921 the another scientist Sagner Sagner worked out on chemical structure of insulin in 19 56. Then Kandel, Roestrin and Hange won Nobel Prize for work on corticosteroids in rheumatoid arthritis. Lundy coined the term balance anesthesia. So there was there is a scientist Lundy who coined the term balance anesthesia. Horace Wells used nitrous oxide, which is also known as a laughing gas, in 1844 for dental anesthesia. Right? The another scientist, Quidel, described four stages of anesthesia with ether. Sir so Turner isolated active principle of opium and named it morphine after Greek god of dreams, Morpheus. Next scientist is William Withering who published the work on medicinal uses of foxglove and bracket digitalis named an account of foxglove and some of its medicinal uses with practical remarks on dropsy and other diseases. The another scientist Vaughan Williams and Singh gave classification of antiarrhythmic drugs. Ehrlich coined the term chemotherapy. He used the idea that if certain dyes can be selectively stained microbes, they can also be toxic to these microbes. Ehrlich developed arsenic compounds for treatment of syphilis and that arsenic compound is salvarsan. 
Domac. Domac introduced modern era of chemotherapy and demonstrated therapeutic effect of prontosil in pyrogenic infection. Right? And Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin and Waxman discovered streptomycin. So these all are very important scientists and their contribution in the world of pharmacology.